Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna do uh, a flower technique again, but this time with a new ingredient. I found another one that's a little easier to use than the WD-40, I wouldn't say easier, but a little more consistent in its results than the WD-40 or the garage door lubricant. But again, it creates a completely different flower. So um, I'm also gonna do two different techniques of dropping onto the canvas. I'm gonna use um, my eyedropper that I've been using for the last three or four weeks. And I'm also using a, um, this did have cool chemicals in it, but it's just a little container that drips out like a Visine bottle or anything like that because I want to show the difference um, in the two techniques of whether you use the eyedropper or whether you use some other kind of dropping mechanism, whether it's a pipette or um, something like a, a bottle or tube or something that can drip out a drop because I've been watching other people do it and I think the eyedropper is the best uh, result, but um, so I wanted to test and see the variance that I got on the same canvas. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's see what happens. All right, you guys. So like I said, I'm gonna do this with a couple ingredients. I found a, a new ingredient that I think is, makes fun flowers too. Um, so I'm gonna use that. And I'm also gonna use two different kinds of like droppers because I wanna show the difference um, between like an eyedropper that I've been using and then like a, like a, like a Visine eyedropper or if this one is like pool chemicals. I've obviously cleaned it out, it's not pool chemicals anymore. But um, just, I wanna show the different tools that you're using to drop your paint, how that affects the outcome of your flower. So I've done um, some tests on red and orange and yellow and thought I'd branch out to other colors. So I'm burning through all my blues because blue is always, blues never disappoint you guys. And I've been playing around with um, ring pours too. Now, this is super thin, I'm not gonna lie. This is, I mean, anybody who's tried this on their own knows that these paints are crazy, but I've had good luck with the ring pour, doing tests that I've been doing. So, um, I don't know. Can't be any worse than a flip cup, right? Normally I wouldn't do a ring pour with paints this thin, but I tried it and it worked, so therefore. I fight it, right?
that snuck in there, but it did. Oh, wow, look at all those cells creeping up down there. Let's get those off. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to avoid that, but. It's like pearl cell. Anybody else notice that when you don't want something, it happens, but anytime you try for it, you can, Never get it. I have a feeling these cells are going to take over this canvas. I might just have to live with it, you guys. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my first ingredient in my eyedropper, which is just 91% isopropyl alcohol, just from Target. So then I want to go to like the eyedropper, same thing, 91% isopropyl alcohol. All right, you guys, so this is the fun part, I guess, or the frustrating part, or the, I don't know, of doing this is never in my test did I get cells like this, like pearl cells. Guys, this is just paint and water. So, um, really, really thin paint and water. Um, <laughs> Always something new, right? Um, so I hope it doesn't take over the canvas. I hope it just stays on the outside edges because it kind of looks cool. But then you see how, see how the alcohol from the eyedropper, from using this, um, see how it creates cells with like, almost like dendrite edges where the dropper did it. So you can see the ones I did at the dropper and the ones, that double one right here. This is my twin flame right here. <laughs> or a Martian head, I don't know. Um, the ones that I dropped close don't have quite the detail in the edges that it does with a dropper. So what you use to drop, whatever you're using, WD-40, garage door lubricant, alcohol, um, whatever it is, um, it matters, you guys, it matters a lot. 
So whether you're using a pipette or what, you're gonna get a different result for every different piece you use to drop uh, the ingredient, whatever you're using. So yeah, I'll bring you back when it's dry. I think maybe hopefully this is the end of the pearl cells, but I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, you guys, here this one is dry. I'm really, really glad that all these cells that were coming up on the side didn't overtake this canvas. Um, first of all, this is just paint and water. I have no idea how I got that. I can honestly say if I tried to do this again, I don't think I could. Um, nothing is different from what I've been doing. I, I mix everything on a scale. So all the amounts should be exactly the same. So um, I don't know. It's your guess is as good as mine, but they're all the same brand of paint, whether it be Amsterdam or Liquidex or um, it's not like one is, none of these are Creative Inspirations or Soho or anything like that. They're all just, I want to say normal paints, but they're all normal paints, but this is nothing unusual. So I don't, know why I did this again, but whatever. Happy result. I'm, I'm not mad about it. So, um, these turned out really well. I really, really like the eyedropper. As I was watching back the video, I was like, use your words, Nicole. Why can't you talk? Apparently I can't talk and pour at the same time, but, um, I like the results of the eyedropper versus coming out of the bottle where you don't have as much, um, exaggeration of the outside as you do um, with like the eyedropper. This one right here was done with the dropper, with the bottle, sorry. Um, but then all these that have really, really defined edges were all done with um, the eyedropper and that was the bottle. So um, not only does the ingredient that you're dropping matter, but it also matters how you're dropping it. So maybe those of you who haven't had great success um, doing it one way, maybe try using an eyedropper and you might get a different result. But I do like these because it kind of, has different layers of um, like almost bullseyes. Um, my phone isn't doing this justice, but of how these go from outside to in and everyone, even the ones that I dropped with the um, bottle have that as well. Maybe not as defined as well. This one has the background coming through. That one's kind of weird, kind of crazy. But yeah, you guys, I'm really happy with this result. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.